A USC student found brutally murdered after getting into a car she thought was her Uber. This happened on Friday. 21-year-old Samantha Josephson's body was found dumped in the woods just 70 miles away outside of Columbia, South Carolina. Samantha was by herself. I can't tell you how painful this is. Overnight, family and friends holding a tearful vigil this morning. That driver now in custody. This tragedy raising questions about the safety of ride sharing apps. NBC shows Billie Jean Shaw. She's live in South Carolina. So Billie Jean, police found shocking items in the suspect's car. And and again, this is something that this is something that could have happened really to anybody. I took two Ubers this weekend. Good morning, it's Xavier and Carolyn. That's right. When police say they arrested the suspect, they found a large pool of blood, Samantha's cell phone, and then they went down 70 miles away from Columbia in an area where I grew up in, a most rural area in South Carolina, and found her body. This morning, the man accused of brutally murdering a University of South Carolina student is waking up behind bars. 24-year-old Nathan Rowland was denied bond yesterday in a Columbia courtroom. Last night, family and friends gathering to remember Samantha Josephson, a 21-year-old future law student. In the process of the last four years that I've known her, I truly learned stuff about myself that I think I'll be thankful for the rest of my life. Surveillance video captured Josephson early Friday morning, leaving a bar and waiting on what she believed was an Uber. When this black car rolled up, the student got inside. That was the last time she was seen alive. She simply mistakenly got into this particular car thinking it was an Uber ride. Investigators arresting the driver of the car, Nathan Rowland, less than 24 hours after Josephson was last seen. Detectives finding large amounts of blood in his trunk and in the back seat, along with the USC student's cell phone. This morning, I'm told Josephson's body was covered in bruises from head to toe and dumped in a field 70 miles away from Columbia. And Carolyn and Xavier, one more shocking detail we're learning this morning is that Samantha may have tried to escape out of the car she thought was an Uber, only to find out that it was locked. Also, the child safety locks were on, and she had no way of getting out of the window. Coming up on the news at 6.30, we'll, we'll show, share some tips with you about what you should know before stepping inside of an Uber and how to confirm you're actually getting inside of an Uber. Reporting live in South Carolina, Billie Jean Shaw, NBC Charlotte. Oh, this is heartbreaking, Billie Jean. Thank you.